Well, I, I think we've got a very strong senior class. Obviously, Anna Simmers um, is the returning league scorer in the Patriot League and, um, you know, really came out of nowhere last year. I mean, that was the, I think the big question for me was no one knew who she was. And uh, when you're in an institution where you don't take junior college players or recruit internationally, that, that I think that was uh, probably really baffled a lot of people because she really hadn't done much. You know, as a sophomore, I think she scored 27 points in her entire sophomore season and she turns around and scores 429 points and is a uh, clearly one of the best players in the league, one of the best offensive players in the league. So, uh, returning first teamer, I, I think she's a, she's a legitimate offensive player. She's a very tough kid to defend. And, you know, she's complimented by two, or two, our two co-captains this year, Liz Benedict and Kimby Martin. Liz uh, has played a lot of minutes for us over her career. She's a very solid cerebral guard, uh, can play on the ball, off the ball, very good shooter. Uh, and Kimby Martin is a specialist, a, a very good open three-point shooter who hasn't played a lot of minutes, but I think is going to fight for some time this year. Shoot. Finds a cutting Simmers who's had the hot hand this afternoon, driving left-handed, lay-in, rolls in and good. And Anna Simmers has 20 points in the first half. And I think, you know, even into the summer, uh, this past summer, people still were talking about it. Like, where did she come from? And she's, you know, it's an interesting story because she, she's from Alaska. Um, she's a little different, you know, her personality's different. She's, uh, she's a young lady who I think because of just uh, her background and, and her, her basketball IQ, there were things that she struggled with early uh, in her career. And, and quite frankly, she had some injuries her freshman year that really prohibited her from playing much at all. Sophomore year, she was in and out, in and out, a little inconsistent. but. Uh, I always knew she had a lot of talent. It was just a matter of trying to get her on the same page with everybody. You know, coming from a small private school in Alaska, she sort of did her own thing and uh, it was very much, a, we joke uh, between ourselves, we joke a lot about her being more of a pickup player, a playground player. And it's sort of funny because she's from Alaska. So it's not like I plucked her out of the, you know, the streets in New York City or Chicago. She's, uh, you know, from Anchorage, and uh, but there's good basketball in Alaska, don't get me wrong. So I, I just think she's a little bit of a, of a mystery kid, and, and hopefully this year she'll be able to understand how to, you know, maybe be a little bit more involved in our, in our offensive schemes, because a lot of what we did was, was get her in isolations, and, and she very, is very difficult to cover one-on-one. Made route to far side Smith, tipped out of the air by Hazlett. She'll sprint the other way. Ward giving chase. Hazlett, righty laying good. Army up by four, 62 to 50. Well, Jen is um, is right where I think she should be. Uh, she came in as a freshman, uh, very highly recruited, um, and 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 was a player of the year in the state of Utah. Was on a top 20 team ranked nationally and won a state championship. Uh, so, I mean, she's very accomplished, but really struggled making the transition from high school, not only to college, but to, to the academy, I think, in general, and just being able to handle uh, the time management skills and everything else. She's a very uh, serious young lady, very, very, very accomplished in terms of her academics, but I think the basketball, she, she's pretty much, I think, more of a perfectionist, somebody who, you know, didn't didn't handle uh, disappointments or didn't handle adversity well early as a freshman and even last year as a sophomore, but just continued to grow and uh, really made a huge jump from her freshman to her sophomore year, uh, being second team all, all league. And, and, and she clearly is, statistically, she's one of the top, you know, five in rebounding, top five in scoring. Um, and, and I think really has a chance to reach that next level as a player, as a junior, and, and hopefully as a senior. But, you know, we need her to be more consistent. That's, that, that's a big, big challenge for her. She needs to become, you know, more, more of, of a player who's going to be consistent night in, night out. Even though her numbers look like it, if you really look at her game by game, sometimes she'll, you know, she just sort of disappears here or there. But that's, that's very typical for a young player. Tretzman on the drive oh. with the reverse and one. Yeah, I mean, Olivia did a terrific job, I think, as in her first year um, in making the all-rookie team. But, you know, it, it, timing's everything. And, I mean, if you if you had Olivia Schretzman with, with an Aaron Anthony, that would have been a terrific front line. But, unfortunately, you know, Anthony graduated. And we never really had that front line player to compliment her during her 
junior and senior year. She had terrific support as a freshman and sophomore. But, and that's when we were, you know, averaging 20 plus wins a year. So, you know, it's all about players. It's all about having the right chemistry and having the right people filling certain specific roles for you. So, um, you know, Olivia, we, we, we're really excited with our freshman class. We feel we've added, uh, you know, a very good frontline player and, and Amy Ortner. And we have some very good guards, a uh, good point guard, uh, a couple of very good shooters and wings. So. I think, you know, hopefully all in all, you know, same thing. We got solid sophomores, good freshman class, and then you you know you got Hazlitt leading the, the parade into the future, hopefully. Zimmers had an open three, didn't dish it. We'll dish it off to Hazlitt underneath and a right-handed kiss off the glass is good. Jen Hazlitt with Well, I think you, you've got a great nucleus. You know, the people we've talked about, uh, Simmers, you know, Hazlitt, and, and, and certainly uh, Schretzman. Uh, you've know, got some good role players in there. I mentioned one of our captains, Liz Benedict. Um, you know, we've got a couple other kids uh, that I think have a chance to step up and play a bigger role for us this year. Sierra Jackson is, is a sophomore, and she, she played in spots last, last year, 6'1", athletic forward. Uh, and, and you've got a couple, you know, wing players that have a chance. But I'm very excited about our freshman class. I think you start with our, our point guard. She's probably going to be our starting point guard as a freshman. Uh, her name's Kelsey Minato from Huntington Beach, California. She's distinguished herself early in the preseason. It's pretty, it's pretty clear cut. She's probably going to be our starting point guard. Uh, we've got a very athletic frontline player named Amy Ortner, who's who's from the Lehigh Valley, actually, uh, in, in in Pennsylvania. Very, unbelievably under recruited sleeper, in my opinion. Uh, six foot two, great athlete. Played at a real tiny school, Northern Lehigh High School, but. Uh, really wasn't recruited. I mean, I had a couple Division One schools looking at her, but in some Division Twos. But she has been excellent in the preseason. I am so excited about her potential. She's a great kid, very coachable. Um, father was a high school coach, so she's sort of got a little bit of that in her, and she understands the game. She she just plays extremely hard. So we're. Uh, we're excited. And in between, we've got great shooter, uh, Gene Parker from Oregon, Bridget Ryan uh, from Blair Academy in, in Jersey, who's had a terrific uh, year there last year. Uh, and we've got a great little guard out of the Washington, D.C. area in Bridget Ockren. So we, we feel, you know, very good uh, about where we're at now in terms of this program. And, you know, we'll see where those freshmen go early in the, in the, in the season. You know, as we head into January and into league play, you know, hopefully the, the, the pre, you know, the non-conference schedule will test these kids. But to have those freshmen play a lot of minutes, you know, it, it's not great. I mean, it's, it's, it's a good news, bad news thing. You got some talent, but they're still freshmen and they're still playing their first Division I, you know, basketball game. So, you know, we, uh, we, we hope that as this, as this preseason goes through that, you know, we get some, some questions answered. Ford Simmers comes up with it. Eight seconds to go. She'll go left side. Doucette goes in right-handed lay and good! Megan Doucette has given Army the lead with 5.7 seconds left to go. This is the time of the year I love because you got, you know, you got you got all kinds of expectations and you look at things and, you know, whether you're talking about yesterday's practice being a great one and, and the day before was a bad one because you've got, you know, we've got eight, we got eight freshmen. We've got seven kids that we recruited and we have a very good walk on and then you've got a big sophomore class. So all in all, I mean, you know, on our roster right now, we've got 17 kids um, and a couple of them, you know, really other than four or five, we're talking about all freshmen and sophomores. And, and you take Simmers out of that mix and, and Benedict and, and I mean, really, you've got the heart of this team coming back. And we, I think we just finished up a very good early recruiting period for, for the following year with some good size. So um, it's exciting. I mean, hey, I, I've been around for a while. This is my 40th year coaching Division I basketball. My 30th year as a Division I head coach. Uh, obviously, I coached on the men's side, but uh, this is a time of the year that, that, that I really, uh, you know, I think is, is, is exciting because you're, you're watching kids get a little bit better. You're challenging them every day, and you hope that they understand uh, what it's going to be like once they actually step on the floor you know we, we have two scrimmages before we open on uh, November the 9th at Wagner College in Staten Island and 
you know, we'll be tested. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll play University of New Hampshire, and then we'll play Villanova, and we'll see where we're at. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic, but I, I think everybody is at this time of the year.